Magic mushrooms might be able to cure addiction. That from a new study by researchers at NYU Langone Health, who led a trial using psilocybin pills. That's the mind-altering compound found in mushrooms. Researchers say those pills, combined with psychotherapy, could help people with alcohol dependence get and stay sober. And one study participant reports he hasn't had a drink in years. Here's NBC's Harry Smith. This is a handle of alcohol, a few ounces short of a half gallon of booze. Something you'd bring to a party. I would drink one of those by myself. John Costa started drinking in his early teens. Getting drunk became the number one thing on his mind. You're constantly thinking about where your next drink's going to come from. AA didn't work, nor did any other rehab. His doctors told him alcohol was killing him. His last hope, he says, psilocybin, a compound found in psychedelic mushrooms. I was terrified of psychedelics. I never touched them. Yet he joined a double-blind study incorporating psychotherapy and psilocybin at NYU Langone Health. In all, there were 93 participants. The results, very promising. More than 80% who were given the psychedelic treatment drastically reduced their drinking. 48% were completely abstinent eight months after receiving their first dose. Their improvement was evident immediately during the month after the first dose of psilocybin. Dr. Michael Bogenschutz headed the study. There wasn't uh, really any sign that the effect was diminishing over time. Through 12 weeks of psychotherapy, participants were given two doses of psilocybin and were given an option for a third. During the sessions, they were accompanied by two staff members who monitored them for possible physical or psychological side effects. My emotions were really amplified. So if I'm happy, I'm ecstatic. If I'm sad, I'm terrified. Uh, we know that psilocybin can make it possible for the brain to change right. more than it ordinarily would. That change is called neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to modify, change, and adapt. The theory? Psilocybin makes the brain more malleable. Costas had profound, transcendent reactions to the drug. I saw a liquor bottle in the middle of a desert, and all of a sudden it disintegrates into the sand. And I thought that was pretty obvious symbolism for my alcoholism leaving me. The researchers have not kept track of how many participants remain abstinent. Costas, one of the first patients, says he has not had a drink in nearly seven years. It was never a case where I could just have a drink and then not have another drink. Nicola D'Alessandro also participated in the study. The psilocybin's effect, mind-altering and life-changing. The third dose was like the icing on the cake that completed my experience and allowed me to move forward in life with a new path, a new hope. Oh, I'm not to cry. <laughs> it's not that it's you know a miracle cure that works for every single participant, but uh, a lot of the patients will report they learned something that was very personal and very critical for them to understand in order to make these major changes in their lives. The results are promising, but more research is needed, says Dr. Bogenschutz. If the results of this study are replicated and we eventually are able to show that this drug can be safe and effective and it becomes clinically available, it could impact millions and millions of lives. For the news, I'm Harry Smith.